Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This one's a quick one, gonna show you how to use Kling AI. It just launched today, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Quick tutorial, and we're gonna skip all the fluff. Let's go. The first step here, klingai.com, links in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and click on sign in. Do note that it says sign in for free credits. You currently get 66 free credits which is the equivalent of about 35, 33 seconds of footage, which is not a lot, but it's enough to give you a, a taste. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter in my username and password. I'm on a Mac, so it's very simple to do. Click on sign in and presto. It is a no nonsense thing, except I've gotta move this puzzle piece. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Look at this, yeah. Okay, green light, here we go. Yeah, that's your new CAPTCHA, everybody. Okay, here we go, we're in, let's roll. The first step here is you want to go to AI videos. Keep in mind, this is an AI video and an AI image generator, but the image to video and the text to video is where the money is. This is crazy stuff. So on the left side, like most AI image and AI video generators, type in what you want. I want a French bulldog reading a book on the moon with cheese. Okay, something silly like that. I'm just having some fun here. Easy to do. You'll notice here under setting, this is where you can have a little bit of fun. You can make it extra creative, or you can make it extra relevant. If you've got a perfect prompt and you don't want the computer interpreting it, go ahead and set the relevance to super high. If you want to have a creative prompt and see what it gives you, I'm gonna go ahead with creative at point one because I like to see what kind of crazy stuff this comes up with. I've got high performance selected by default. That's fine, currently five seconds is the maximum, but that will probably change to 10 second very soon, hopefully. And then here's the other last thing, frame ratio, aspect ratio. So do you want it to be a horizontal, which is standard YouTube, or do you want a vertical style, which is great for TikTok and YouTube shorts and things like that? I'm gonna keep it traditional. Last but definitely not least is camera movement. This is where everything gets set differently. This is where Kling AI sets itself apart from the other video editors. Look at this. We can go ahead and select all of these different shots here. Now it currently has six shots. I'm gonna go with roll, but I mean, you can go with zoom, horizontal, vertical, pan, tilt, all of that stuff. And you'll see here, these are grayed out, but they're coming. So you know that this is still under production. And then finally, you can set how much roll you want. So I want it to roll to a to the right side, three. So there we go, we're just gonna go with that. If you want to use a negative prompt to go ahead, I do not. I'm gonna click on generate and you're gonna see here, now it's cooking. All right, welcome back. Let's see what we got. Holy smokes, we got a French bulldog on the moon reading a book and maybe there's some cheese in there, maybe there isn't, I don't know. But look at that bulldog, that is almost a perfect French Bulldog. I can't believe that. The book looks very realistic. There's some planets. It's rolling like we asked it to. Remember we set the roll to three. This is absolutely crazy. And I created this for free. If I want to download it, I'll just click that button there. Downloading. I'm going to give it a thumbs up because I quite like it. It's magnificent dynamic effect. High quality video. Okay, so we're giving it a thumbsies. And look at that. I did one earlier. Check a look at this one here. This is a uh, French Bulldog. You get a theme here in a rocket ship going to the moon kind of thing look at that guys this is amazing this is how you use cling ai for free give it a shot thanks for watching